our first vice president, Dr. Clint Presley. Would you welcome Dr. Presley to the platform today? Thank you, Mr. President. It is true that we believe in prayer, and as a convention and denomination that lifts our hearts to the Lord, we're going to do that together today. Now, it's my uh, privilege to get to introduce to you two men that you know very well. One is Dr. Jack Graham, a longtime pastor at Prestonwood and uh, president, of course, of the convention at one time, and then Jimmy Draper, who also was a president of the convention. Those two men will lead us as we pray, but before we get to that, Dr. Graham will come and introduce the president and his family. The chair recognizes Dr. Jack Graham. We know the passion, the commitment of our president, Ronnie Floyd, and how grateful we are for him, his commitment uh, to Christ and to serve the church and our churches, Southern, ba <coughs> excuse me, Southern Baptists, as we meet together. Thank you, Ronnie Floyd, for 38 years, pastor of uh, the wonderful Cross Church in North Arkansas. But really what I am here to do today at the request of President Floyd is to talk about his best title, and that is husband and father and grandfather. Father's Day is coming up, men. And so we're going to recognize one of the best dads and husbands. I know that's Ronnie Floyd. But, but first, uh, his wife, Gina, married for 38 years. Gina Floyd, would you come up here with your husband, Dr. Floyd, Ronnie, and with the rest of the family. You can tell a lot about a man, his leadership, because it starts in his home with his own family. And Ronnie and Gina have a beautiful and wonderful marriage for these 38 years. And God gave them two fantastic sons. That's Josh on the end. He is a football coach. Can you tell? One of the greatest high school football programs in America, Birmingham, <coughs> Alabama. And uh, they're winning, and a winning tradition. This is his wife, Kate. And they have three boys, all surrounded here by the grandparents. Peyton. Where's Peyton? Raise your hand, Peyton. And Parker. Parker and Jack. That's a good name, Jack. All right, buddy. God, great looking boys. And this is Nick, who serves as teaching pastor of Cross Church in Fayetteville. And this is his wife, Meredith, a great, great couple that we love. And they have a son, Beckham. Hey, Beckham. And three daughters, Reese, hi, Nora, and newly adopted, being held by Nick. Maya Faith from Malawi, Africa. She just got to the family and got to America and got to our greater family of Southern Baptists. What a wonderful family uh, and an example to all of us. Uh, it's, it's the heart of Pastor Floyd, President Floyd, that we would be people of prayer. And so it's appropriate that we pray for Dr. Floyd and his family at this time, for the leadership of this man, uh, the ministry that God has given him, the mission to serve Southern Baptists in these days that we have together and beyond. So Dr. Jimmy Draper is going to come, and we're going to gather around this family, the former presidents. We all are supportive and prayerful of this family and this convention, looking forward to all that God has in store. So Dr. Draper, would you come at this time and pray? for Pastor Floyd, President Floyd, and Gina. Thank you so much, Dr. Graham. While we pray for them, and we know how to pray better than most because we've all been here, but would you join us and pray along with us as we pray for this family and for our convention? If you join me as we pray. Our Father, we uh, desperately need a word from you today. You're the creator of the world and his people. Your grace, your mercy are incomparable. Your power is undiminished and unlimited. Your covenant with us through Jesus Christ, his perfect sacrifice for our sins on the cross provides forgiveness for our sins and places us in your eternal family as accepted and beloved children. For this convention was birthed with a passion to fulfill the great commission of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yet in many ways, we have lost our way. Apathy has paralyzed us. Compromise has disconnected us from your presence and power. 
Our churches have become selfish places where we want our desires satisfied and fulfilled. We have made worship about us and not about you. Our churches are filled with contention and strife, and our passion for you is diminished. Lord, this convention must have your anointing. God, may these brief days that we're together find us enthralled once again by your majesty, smitten by your holiness, and compelled by your Holy Spirit to encounter your grace once again. And Lord, in the midst of these days, you have brought to us our president, Ronnie Floyd. He has challenged us and inspired us by his excellent and passionate leadership. His deep devotion for you has been boldly seen in everything he's done in leading us this year. He has called us to repentance and passionately sought your presence in our midst. Thank you for a president who's not content just to enjoy the spotlight of being president, but whose heart longs for a fresh encounter with you. He has clearly reminded us that apart from a movement of your spirit in our midst, we'll never be what you created us to be. Lord, empower him today and anoint him with your Holy Spirit to communicate your heart with us. Let him yield his voice to you so that you can speak directly to our hearts. Give him clarity of thought and sensitivity to your Holy Spirit and boldness to declare, thus says the Lord. Lord, I ask your blessings upon Roddy and Jenna. Keep them safe and close to you. Protect them from themselves and from those whose praise or criticism might dilute their passion to please you. Lord, use him mightily in this hour. Give us hearts to hear a word from you. We implore you to hear our prayer and walk among us these days and anoint this convention. May your Holy Spirit have free reign in our hearts. And we pray in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.